Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. I hope everybody's doing good today. With that being said, you better call Becky with the borrow speech. Yes! <laughs> So anyways, I'm back with another uh, video slash podcast. I'm really enjoying doing my videos in this style for a while. I know when I initially started it was because I was sick and I had not been feeling good. I am feeling better, but I still want to continue to do it this way just because for me it's a little bit easier. I'm able to put out more videos. I don't have to worry about setting up equipment and taking it down because as you guys all know, I'm not in LA right now, so I'm not like in my little studio space. So for me, it's just been easier doing, you know, the voiceovers. And it seems like a lot of people really enjoy it as well. I will be back on camera again, but I don't know exactly when. But I still want to keep everybody up to date, honey. I still want y'all to sip tea, have a good time, lots of laughs. And I want to thank you guys so much for just all the support, all the love. You know, I'm getting all over social media. Regardless if we agree or disagree on certain topics, you know, I'm glad that I have mature enough people who don't troll all day, who can just have a difference of opinion and keep it moving. So with that being said, honey, everybody and their mama has been wanting me to come on here and talk about the whole Melania Trump situation. Yes, like I said before, you better call Becky with the borrowed speech. Yes! <laughs> So anyways, Melania Trump is getting drug up and down social media, honey, because what went down was last night was the Republican National Convention. And so this was like Melania Trump's first time really, really speaking in front of millions of people as a potential first lady. And so she got up there to say her speech. And I don't know, she thought that the audience was stupid or that we could not put two and two together, but damn near a lot of her speech sounded like Michelle Obama's speech that she did at her Democratic convention back in 2008. So when people started putting two and two together and started matching the audio clips, people then realized that Melania and whoever wrote her speech plagiarized a lot of Michelle Obama's speech and that's when the internet went crazy. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip really quick and also check out the video of the speeches matching each other and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Brock and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life that your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're gonna do. My parents impressed on me the values that you work hard for what you want in life, that your word is your bond, and you do what you say and keep your promise. That you treat people with dignity and respect, even if you don't know them, and even if you don't agree with them that you treat people with respect. They thought and showed me values and morals in their daily life. That is a lesson that I continue to pass along to our son. And we need to pass those lessons on to the many generations to follow. And Barack and I, set out to build lives guided by these values and to pass them on to the next generation because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Because Because we want our children in this nation to know that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And as you guys know, social media, especially Twitter, honey, they have no chill whatsoever, ever, okay? So after Melania's speech went viral, a Twitter hashtag was produced called Famous Melania Trump Quotes. And basically, people were taking quotes in different situations throughout history and basically attributing them to Melania Trump. When I tell you this hashtag had me dying last night before I went to bed, and even I joined in the festivities this morning when I woke up. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out the comments, the tweets, and what folks had to say, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary.
sampled them from them, but it's not the same bass line. Uh, like he goes ding 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 That's the way theirs goes. Ours goes ding 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 Right, so you guys just saw all the comments and what folks had to say. So a lot of people are thinking that whoever wrote her speech is going to be fired. It was announced just today on CNN a few hours ago that no one will be fired for the speech for the mishap. Um, they're saying that no heads will roll. You know, so a lot of folks want to know my opinion on the situation. And my opinion is this. Melania Trump to me is nothing more than a trophy wife. I can only imagine the comments and what would be said if it came out that Michelle Obama had plagiarized Laura Bush's speech. If the shoe was on the other foot, and this was Michelle Obama accused of this, folks would have went in on her. But I saw so many people on CNN last night, a lot of Republicans on social media, making excuses for Melania Trump's behavior, making excuses and blaming the speechwriter and saying that the speechwriter that wrote Michelle Obama's worked under Hillary Clinton, and this was some type of conspiracy to make Melania look bad. It's like, you know, there's never any accountability when it comes to Donald Trump and his people. They always push accountability onto other people. It's always somebody else's fault. So I don't agree with that at all. And I think what's even more disturbing is that you know damn what this was michelle obama she'd been called classless trump would have went in on her trump would have held nothing back he would have went off on michelle obama but what you know what i find funny is the fact that this is your husband of you know 18 years and you can't even think of anything good to say about him just off the top of your head it's like why did you even need a speech writer for half this stuff that needed to be said it should have came from the heart you know so the whole situation is just crazy but this is just proof that politics is fake it's full of crap and everything is contrived okay to the point that these people need a speech writer i mean that's ridiculous you have kids in elementary school who can write their own heartfelt speech and get up in front of their student body and try to run for class president so the fact that these people who may end up running our nation need speech writers to me is insane if this was a college student and they got caught plagiarizing and submitting work you'd be in trouble you might even get kicked out of college but now when it comes to the potential first lady all of a sudden there's all these excuses so i find the whole situation comical i'm gonna need becky with the bar speech to have several damn seats okay anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, once again, concerning Melania Trump. So let me know what you guys think about the entire situation. And then last but not least, if this was Michelle Obama getting caught doing the same thing, what do you guys think would happen? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.